Team, welcome back to your daily movement flows. As always, you're not gonna need any equipment for this session, just somewhere comfortable to lay or sit down. And the idea of this session is just to take you through some movements from the floor, working our way up, getting a little bit of activation, a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of stretch, and finally end this session in a standard position, ready for you to go and attack the day, your round, practice, or whatever it is you've got planned for the rest of the day. So we're gonna start on our backs, work our way up, and I'm gonna guide you through all of our movement for this morning. Just come down to your backs. What we can do is just tuck your feet up towards the bum and just place your hands on your stomach. And what I want you to do from here is take full deep breaths in, trying to fill up this lower area with air. I then take a deep exhale. What we're trying to do here is just control our breath and just make sure that we're breathing from deep within the diaphragm instead of just kind of shallow breaths from our chest, which is normally what we tend to do, especially if we sat down or working at a desk or just like daily stress or daily situations. So you're just trying to move that breath down, lower into the diaphragm. Just take a deep breath in. And now just go at your normal pace here and your regular pace. And just as you're keeping this control of your breath, all I want you to do is just take your left leg and just cross it over your right thigh. So we just got outside of left ankle and just placed it kind of on top of my right thigh, just, just above my knee. And just as I'm breathing, I'm just feeling like I'm trying to push this left knee away from me. So you'll notice I'm in a slightly new setting today. Most of the previous videos from, from this series or the daily movements I filmed when I was in Portugal currently in Athens, which is nice. The only problem with Athens is it's very, very loud, so forgive me if you hear a lot of shouting, beeping, traffic, people trying to take all of your old stuff in a van in the back of the street. If anyone's been to Athens, you'll know what I mean. So just easing this left knee away. All we're now gonna do is take this whole system and drop this whole system over to the right-hand side. So I don't change my leg position. I just drop the whole system of the legs over to the right hand side still taking control of my breath but what we'll feel now is it's going to feel good to move this breath and almost feel like we're trying to breathe into the left side i'm kind of almost breathing into the into kind of like above my left hip that's where i'm trying to focus my breath but i'm still trying to push this left knee away from me and as i do that i feel this stretch coming to the outside of the left thigh and you'll just feel that that breath is just gained a little bit of tension to it. So this is great. This means we can now start to control this breath to ease into the tension. And as we exhale, feel like we can lose a little bit of that tension with every breath. So what we've got here on the outside of the left thigh is what we call our IT band. And it's basically a big stretch of like, it's not really muscle, it's more like connective tissue, but it kind of acts as a wall between our hamstrings and our quads. So this is what we're actually stretching here. You know, you struggle to really stretch this um, it's, it's too rigid to really go in and make any difference in terms of stretching, but what we'll notice is it will feel like we're making some change up in the hip. That's what you need to feel like. I feel like this whole system is going to add some strain, but we're going to make a change up in the hip area, and that's what we want to focus on your breathing. Good work. Let's take this all the way over to the other side. So let's put right leg over left thigh, keeping the right knee pushed away. And again, just really, I'm just going to take your focus back to your breath. I really want you to control your breath I always say with uh, with stretching, there's no point in us just trying to yank on, on tight muscles. Nothing really is gonna change at all. We really need to get control of our breath. And actually we kind of get a two for one. We get a relaxation sensation, uh, sensation from the breath, which is really powerful. But that also will allow us to make more change in the muscle that we're trying to get a difference in. For those of you that do a lot of my work or work with me or follow a lot of my content, I'm not a massive fan of general stretching much more of a fan of doing some movement uh, and then any movement we kind of want to improve we'll go into some mobility work but these videos as we move this whole system over to the left now pushing that right knee away from us breathing into the right hand side what these videos allow us to do is just have a little bit of movement first thing in the morning this is kind of generally when i do these sessions just for 10 minutes just to kind of wake our body up almost used it as a kind of like a self-assessment for how we're feeling for the day Gives us an opportunity to get control of our breath first thing in the morning. 
And for me, I've just noticed a big difference in my day when I get this type of session done first thing in the morning. Sometimes we don't need any scientific logic. Just for how we feel is enough. Good, so let's come back to the middle now. I want you to have both feet back up. What we're gonna do is just get a little bit of activation into the glutes. So whether you're doing the session first thing in the morning and you've just got out of bed or whether you've been sat down at your desk for a few hours already, generally our glutes are gonna get a little bit weak and they're gonna get a little bit deactivated. So we're just gonna get some activation into those. So what we do is make sure that your shoulder blades are nice and flat onto the mat. And then what we can do is push our heels into the ground. But the idea isn't just to try and push yourself as high as you can. The idea is for you to really feel like you're getting these glutes, which is your bum muscles, to start to activate and tighten. So I want you to avoid really trying to pull from the hamstrings. So the hamstrings are in the back of the thigh. Avoid pulling from those and really feel like you're trying to squeeze your bum. That's the feeling that I want you to do. And you'll feel like even not going that high, squeezing your bum will start to feel a little bit of stretch and tension on the front of the thigh. And you just start to understand how these two systems really link in. So we're just squeezing up, squeezing that bum as hard as we can, and then just release it off and let the bum come back down to the mat. Again, really trying to squeeze the bum, squeeze, 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 squeeze. You'll feel the stretch coming to the front of the thigh, and just slowly release. I'm just gonna go through a few more of these. So what you'll realize is, the system of being able to contract the glutes and contract this bum, really is linked to anything that's tight on the front of the hip. So it works in both ways. The, the weaker we are at the backside, the kind of tighter we're gonna become on the front. And also the tighter we are on the front, maybe we're sat down a lot, maybe we're working a lot at our desk, the weaker the backside's gonna become because these things need to work in synergy. And ultimately they don't wanna fight against each other. So we definitely don't want our glutes are gonna to struggle to really contract against the tightness of the front side. Good, so you should feel like this actually starts to build up a little bit of almost kind of like activation, a bit of blood flow in the area. That's what we're after here. Kind of warming up a little bit. I will say that when we sit down for ages, our bum ends up being like a cheese toasty. It's just kind of warm and flat, not really doing anything. And now we just wanna kind of pump it up a little bit. Good, let's do one more here. Good, and now all I want us to now work on, now we've kind of grounded this back down, is a little bit of spinal flexion. So we're gonna get a little bit of activation into the abs, another area that ends up getting very, very weak and unactivated. So just reach your hands up to the sky. And all we're doing here is trying to push our hands towards the ceiling. And as I try and push my hands towards the ceiling, I'm just gonna roll kind of this top third of my spine off of the mat and back down. I'm not really rolling any further than my shoulder blades off this mat. I'm not doing a full sit up here. This is like an upper half crunch. For anyone who's done Pilates, this move will be very familiar to you. And if you do this right, you'll almost feel like you're getting a little bit of shaking, which is this kind of activation really trying to fire. And any shaking you are getting, it's a little bit of breakdown in this connection. So the more you do this, the easier it will become. And what we're trying to do is just reconnect our mind to creating this movement. Really powerful. Here, yeah, so just doing a little bit of activation here, just reaching forward, I'm not straining ourselves here. This is definitely not a six pack ab workout. We're just trying to create a little bit of activation. Good work, just two more here. Reaching up. Back down, I'm gonna do one more. Back down, great work. Now there's a great way that I like to get from this kind of supine position into a seated position and I'll show you what we'll do. We're gonna take our knees, bring them up to our chest. And what you can do is just rock gently from back to front. So this is actually gonna get a little bit of massage into the lower back, just as we work through this position. And then you're gonna finish up in a seated position. Now we're up seated, We've got an opportunity to do a little bit of work onto our spinal position. So first thing I want you to do is just fold yourself all the way over. You see how kind of rounded over I can get my spine here and just let the head fall. And again, we're just gonna take a full deep breath in and a full deep breath out and release all the tension. Good, one more breath in and out. Good work. Now we're gonna wake ourselves up a little bit. We're gonna roll up kind of vertebrae, vertebrae in the spine, roll the shoulders up, round and back. 
And then all I want you to do is reach your hands out ahead of you, keeping this nice spinal position. I just want to see how far up we can get the hand. So even if you're here before you need to kind of break this position, that's fine. But just see if you can force these hands up and just see kind of how straight we can get this whole system. That just feels great. And then once you reach your top position, whether that's here or here, just have a little reach to this one side and a little reach to the other side. Good. And come round now onto all fours. See how we're just developing from the floor position slowly up. Now we're on all fours, we're just gonna get a little bit of work into our spinal kind of tilt and pelvic tilt. So we kind of work all the way from the pelvis all the way up to the neck. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna feel like I'm pushing the floor away from me. As I feel like I push the floor away from me, I feel like my shoulders round over. I'm gonna continue that by squeezing my glutes and squeezing my abs. Remember, we've done this on our back. So think of that movement as squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abs, push the mat away from you, and then just let your, tongue, your chin tuck in. This is our full rounded over position. And now what we're gonna work on is the opposite of this. So I'm now gonna drop my chest towards the mat, feel like my shoulders come back away from me, and now I'm doing the opposite. Now I'm pushing my tailbone up, lifting my chin. Good, and then moving to the other position. This is pushing that away, tuck it in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, and then the other way open. Good, it's our traditional like cat cow, we don't want to done yoga. And again, tucking in, squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs, push away. And last one, open up, tailbone up, chin up. Good work, just drop your bum down onto your heels, reach the hands out ahead of you, and just feel like we're dropping our chest down towards the mat. Again, take a full deep breath in here, and full deep breath out. See if we can release a little bit of this tension. One more deep breath in. And out, nice work. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk both hands over to the left hand side. So I keep my legs and uh, hips down in the same position. All I've done is I've walked my hands over. And now what I feel like is I'm just dropping into this right side. So I've dropped my hands off to the left, drop it over to the right hand side, just touching elbow down to mat. And I'm trying to just ease my right armpit down towards the mat and just relaxing into that side. I'm gonna take a full deep breath in and out. One more deep breath in and out. Great work. Let's walk over to the right hand side. So hands over to the right. Again, I'm just now dropping this left side over and dropping this left armpit towards the mat. You should feel this stretch coming to the outside of the ribcage, kind of like on the back side of the ribcage. This is a lap muscle that gets really, really tight. Especially if you've been playing a lot of golf, you'll notice that this will become very, very tight. Just taking a full dip in. And out. In. And out, great work. Come back onto all fours. And all I want you to now do is take your right hand and place your right fingers onto your right ear. From this position, keeping the feet exactly where they are, we're not trying to get any rotation from the hips. All we're gonna do is we're gonna to touch right elbow towards left hand, and then open up this right elbow as much as we can. Drop right elbow to right hand, uh, to left hand, and then open up as wide as you can. We're gonna do three more here. Tuck into the hand open all the way up. So it's gonna work on our thoracic spine rotation. Last two here, nice, slow and controlled. Good work, and last one. Nice, let's swap onto the other side. We're gonna to touch left hand to left ear, touch down onto the right hand, open up this left elbow. So this side feels much tighter for me. I haven't actually been playing that much golf, but I've been training a lot in the gym. And I do really notice the difference when I do a lot of work, especially a lot of pull-ups. Rotating around, last two here. 
and one more. Good work. Now we're going to spin round, and all I want us to do is come into a squat position, but with our heels up. Okay. So no matter how good your squat is, in terms of your deep squat, most of us can probably get into a deep squat position like this with our heels off the ground. What you might struggle to do is get your heels on the ground, but we're not worried. We're going to do heels up, and all we're going to do is we're just going to rotate from one leg to the other leg, touching the heel down to the floor. So you'll see now. This is my start position. All I'm going to do is I'm going to rock onto the right side. As I rock my weight over to the right, I touch my left heel down to the ground. And then I'm going to rock over to the left, touch my right heel to the ground. I'm just going to move between the two positions. And as I do this, I just feel like my hips can slowly start to open. So I'm just rocking from one side to the other, letting one knee drop forward, let the other knee drop forward. But as I'm doing it, I'm really trying to open up my hips. I'm not staying nice and close, I'm trying to stay open. And just as I stay open, I feel like the more that I go through this movement, and the longer I stay here, the more space that becomes available to me. And what we'll then find is we start to get this little crossover period, where for those of you that don't have great mobility in the ankle, you might find that there's a little crossover period where you just get both ankles to touch as you transition between the two. And this is a great way for you just to spend a little bit of time in a deep squat position, not worrying too much about your technique and that you can't get down into a deep position or that you can't get your heels on the ground, but just that you can kind of start to feel like what that middle position might feel like for you, okay? I'm just gonna move over because the floor's creaking. And we're just gonna shift between these two positions and just keeping control of our breath and just staying nice and open. We're not panicking about our technique here. We're not, we can spend a little bit of time here if we want. We can spend a bit of time over here if we want. If you want to bob up and down, whatever you want. I just want us to accumulate a little bit of time in this position. Just open up our hips. And it's always hard when I do a video like this because it is going to be very different person to person. Someone might want to move a little bit quicker, a little bit slower. So just feel free. Feel free at this point. If you need to stand up, stand up, give yourself a rest. We're just going to kind of do another 10 seconds or so here. Good, you can have your hands on the ground if you want. And just take a little rest there. Now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna shift our weight over to our right side and bear with me on this one. If you wanna stay here, stay here. If you wanna come with me, extend this left leg out, okay? And if you extend this left leg out, I've got this right heel up, which is a much easier position than right heel down. And then from here, what I'm gonna do is you can open up and face this foot. Now for me, I can just play around with kind of opening my hips, closing my hips, rolling this foot open, rolling this foot closed. It's very much freestyle just to feel what this feels like. But you're really going to feel a big stretch coming to your adductors in the inside of your thigh. What I'm going to do is shift all of my weight over and open up the other side. Good, just playing with this leg, playing with this foot. I can open up my hips, close my hips. Whatever feels good, that's what we're after here. We're after whatever feels good. Nice, and then we can take this a little bit further where I just shift from one side over to the other. So I shift to one side, shift over to the other. Back to one side, over to the other. And again, just in your own pace, we're working through these positions. Yours might not look exactly like mine looks, and that's absolutely fine. There is no right or wrong here. We're just trying to get some movement into what your position is. And that's cool. Nice, then we're gonna take a rest in the middle. And again, this will look totally different for everyone. If you wanna have your legs narrower, if you wanna have the legs wider, I don't mind. All I want you to do is from this position, keep the legs relatively straight, not locking out, but relatively straight, and just let yourself fall forward. And again, this will look different for everyone. Fall forward, if you wanna have your hands on the ground for support, you can. If you wanna have your hands over your chest, you can. And just take a full deep breath in, and out. Two more breaths in, and out. Full the breath in, and out. Great work, walk these feet all the way back in now. And with feet all the way in, all I want you to do is have a slight bend in your knees and just let yourself fall forward. If you want hands on the floor, you can. Full breath in, and out. 
really trying to let everything relax all the way from the back of your calves back of the hamstrings to the glutes all the way to the lower back upper back shoulders just let everything relax now all the way to the top of your head let your head become heavy good fold everything and out good then all we're going to do from here is just slowly 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 bring ourselves all the way up into a standing position once we get into our standing position just shift your hips a little bit from side to side rotate around a little bit however you want tuck in tuck out shift around whatever feels good and just like that guys you're ready to go and attack the day fantastic work really really well done hopefully you walk away from this session feeling a lot better than when you started that is the goal go and smash your day and i'll see you guys tomorrow